Hi all, let's have a look at another interesting Paul Morphy game. This was played with Queen's Knight Odds against Thomas Jefferson Bryan in New York, 1859. E4 from Paul Morphy. E5, we have now Bishop C4 here. Okay, Bishop C5. B4. So this would be uh, a ferocious Evans Gambit if it wasn't knight odds. It looks a little bit like an Evans Gambit. C3, Bishop C5, White Castles, D6, D4. So that's one of the ideas to accelerate constructing the center with tempo. Now we have uh, D takes E5, D takes, Queen B3, White's first threat. Is Bishop takes F7, that's parried. Now we have Bishop B5, which pins the knight, of course. Bishop e6, which hits the queen. The queen moves, puts more pressure on c6. That's protected. But bishop g5, queen g6. And now, before black has a chance to castle, we have bishop takes e7. So king takes e7, black forfeits at least the castling rights. Bishop takes c6, b takes. And now knight takes e5. So white is winning a couple of pawns here. Queen f6. Knight takes c6. And this is a critical moment where the scary thing to do would be to uh, put the king where it can be discovered checked. But uh, maybe this is the best thing to do. King e8. Funny enough. If there's no clear continuation for white here. This is probably the best thing to do. Well, it's counterintuitive. Uh, the opponent played king f8, and believe it or not, this is now, this has something very special for white in this position with king f8, which you'd think is the intuitive thing to be away from the queen there a little bit, well, at least from the discover check. But here, White plays e5, and we see queen g5, and there's a really strong move in this position, which uh, is actually winning for white. Can you guess what that move is? If I give you five seconds to pause the video, it's the start of a combination here, uh, forcing move, that's a clue. So you might want to pause the video, white play. Okay, you want to nudge the queen away from e7. That's another clue, by the way, if you want to pause the video again. h4, yeah, it nudges the queen away. The queen has got no squares on this diagonal now. The knights, yeah, and the pawns on that one. So the queen goes here. But now we have a familiar pattern you may have seen before. Check. Now have king e8, there's queen e7, checkmate. Queen and knight work very well together there. King g8, knight e7 check. And I'm sure you've seen this pattern before. If you haven't, it's well worth pausing the video and coming back to, until you can find the winning combination here. It's a very, very nice kind of checkmate pattern, which everyone should know about. If I give you five seconds to pause the video. Okay. Knight g6 check, which is double check. King g8, and it's an epaulette mate. Queen f5, sorry, queen f8 check. Rook takes, it's a smothered mate and an epaulette mate because there's two rooks on either side of the king here. But it's uh, technically, I would say, it's smothered mate. But it, the, the image here is of an epaulette with the two rooks on either side, like a badge or something. Uh, so uh, yeah, a fascinating game with, with night odds there from Paul Morphy. Comments, questions, likes, shares, appreciated. Thanks very much.